Hi, I'm Rudy Tamarchio from Invincible, and today I'm here to walk you around the Invincible 37 Catamaran. In our lineup, this is one of my favorite boats, mostly because I have a lot of history with the 37. She's got 640 gallons of fuel. She's powered by quadruple Mercury Marine 400 Verados. The top speed is upwards of 78 miles per hour, but if you want to be economical with your fuel range, you can reach 600 miles in a single trip. Our ace in the hull, though, is our patented running surface. It's a hybrid, semi-asymmetrical, multi-hull design that we worked exclusively with Morelli and Melvin in California. It's a double-stepped hull. That's exactly why it's really nice and fuel efficient, but also gets out of the hole nice and quick. Now, catamarans are known for their sea keeping ability in rough water, but what sets our catamarans apart is their comfort in turning. There's a really low adoption rate in terms of trying to turn these boats compared to other cats. And my first experience was on a 37 myself, so I was pretty blown away the first time we went out on the water. One of the many benefits of a catamaran is a nice wide beam. In this case, we have a 12-foot beam. It gives you a larger console and also a larger helm layout. So as you can see here, we've got twin 22-inch Garmin's, you've got dual ICOM radios, you've got your Mercury Vessel View Autopilot, and also a really nice JL Audio sound system. We've got 14 speakers on board, including four subwoofers. Anything electronic on this boat can be controlled through our two 22-inch Garmin displays. For example, we've got the radar on right now to monitor some rain that's in our area, but if you want to look at your engine stats, you want to check your fuel economy, you even want to adjust the volume, you can do all of that from these screens. While you're at the controls, you've got plenty of protection from the elements, one from this really large T-top, also from this acrylic windshield setup. In terms of seating, we have a leaning post set up on this boat. You can also opt for triple the Brock helm chairs if you'd like. What's really nice though about having the leaning post seating is that you have an additional storage compartment underneath the cushions. You've got several comfortable sitting positions here if you're running the boat under power. You could sit like I am right now and just lean up against this post. You've got a nice notch under your helm station here where you could put your feet to rest. You can also easily pilot the boat standing up. And if you got the autopilot on, you could sit back and enjoy the ride. This leaning post has a lot of storage. Underneath the helm seating, you have a compartment where there's a spare battery and also area for dry storage. As you move your way further back, there's dual tackle stations on each side, both port and starboard behind the doors. And then here at the back with your mezzanine seat, you've got a fold down tackle center with three compartments. And then there's a cooler underneath the seat. Another benefit of a 12 foot beam is having an enormous cockpit. That makes it really comfortable if you guys are quadded up out there on bailfish. This boat's equipped with 54 rod holders. There's also two live wells on board. We've got a 65 gallon well here in the transom. There's an additional 70 gallon well in the floor. They're both fed by two two pump sea chests. High speed trolling is easy when you opt for outriggers. In this case, this boat has dual Gemlux carbon fiber outriggers. You can also opt for RUP aluminum outriggers. When you're reeling in a big fish, it's a little hard to bring them in over the gunnel with a gaff. You can always open up the tuna door, slide them right in. Once you get them on board the boat, you've got four options in the floor for fish boxes. Two nice big ones here midship, but then also sword fishermen will really like the bow boxes. If you use up all four of your in-floor boxes and still haven't reached your limit, there's a fifth box on board for you, this large coffin box. You can use it to fill some pretty large fish, including some tunas, some big grouper, or you can use the dividers that it comes with and you can use it for dry storage or for beverage and food. The 37 Catamaran also makes for a great water sports platform. So if you're jumping in the water, doing some scuba diving or even some free diving, there's two options to get back on board the boat. The first boarding ladder is here at the dive door. You just pull it out, push a button, falls in the water and it's nice and comfortable. But there's also a second option on catamarans, which is right between the outboard motors at the transom. Once you get out of the water, you're gonna need a space to sit and get all the fins off and all the gear. We've got two jump seats in the transom that are really nice to do that. You've got one port and one starboard. Just flip up the bolster, pull the seat down, and it's nice and secure. You can even sit there when you're riding under power. The boat's built with a lot of cruising comforts. You've got two sets of washdowns on each side, fresh water and salt water, and plenty of seating forward too. As you move your way through the console, you've got a forward bench seat. There's also a nice dual sun pad on the coffin box. Inside of the console, there's an electric head. Also inside, you can find your batteries, electrical panels, and access to the back of the dashboard. At Invincible, we specialize in installing a myriad of options at the factory. That includes the Garmin radar spinning behind me, a rigid light bar, Gemlux carbon fiber outriggers, among other things. When you're serious about building your boat, give us a call. I'm Rudy Tamarchio, and this is the 37 Catamaran.